Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and today I want to go ahead and go over Oreo's necropsy report. So for those of you who don't know, Oreo was my year and a half old uh, rat. She was my female rat, and she just passed suddenly. She had never been ill before. She never had any issues, but on Saturday the 9th, I saw her at 8 a.m., and when I returned to my house at uh, 4 or around 4 p.m., I found her just curled up dead under one of the buckets, so clearly she suddenly passed. She had no prior symptoms. She had never been ill before, so it was really weird, and she had also passed just two days after her same age sister, and so I was kind of concerned that I might have something viral going around in my rat mischief, so I went ahead and got her necropsied. Now, it took them a while to give me the results just because they were so busy, but I do have them here, and I thought it'd be interesting to go over them. Okay, so you can see right here, this is the page. Um, I'm not sure how clear it is on screen, but basically we have the clinical history here. Um, basically, like I said, Oreo was healthy. She was fine the night before. She was fine in the morning. And when I came home at four, she was, well, dead. And uh, they put the manner of her death as spontaneous. Then you have the gross description, uh, black and white rat, like I described. Uh, she had a good body condition, 3 out of 5, which is ideal. Uh, she didn't have any issues uh, externally, no lumps or bumps or anything like that. And of course, they also had to look at her internal organs. So here you can see that it says her organs that looked normal included the tongue, trachea, lungs, uh, heart, esophagus, stomach, intestines, liver, spleen, pancreas, and urinary bladder. So that's a lot of things that were going right, unfortunately. Uh, what was going wrong was pretty bad, and that was the kidneys. Uh, her kidneys were failing. They had huge lesions in them. You can actually see it right here. He took this picture from the microscope, so you can see right there, that is a giant lesion in the middle of her kidneys. Uh, it's not great. It should all look like that, and she has a ton of these little lesions everywhere. This one's huge. And so clearly something was going on. Um, the kidneys couldn't function like that. And so even though she wasn't showing other symptoms beforehand, it's pretty clear that she had kidney failure because of that. So yeah, that was pretty much the biggest issue. Um, her kidneys, like I said, had a giant lesion in the middle and other lesions and they had some other issues that they discuss here. So that wasn't good. Um, she also had another issue. Uh, I guess they found two foci in the lung that have fibrosis associated with uh, lymphocytic infiltrate, which uh, I think just basically means that she had some scar tissue in her lungs, which is unfortunately very common with rats. Oreo never showed any signs of respiratory issues, but they don't always have to show signs. So, And yeah, that was pretty much it. Here you can see the final diagnostics, chronic severe kidney issues, um, So, and peri peribronch Keeler lymphoid cuffing, which is uh, what was going on with her lungs, I think. So yeah, here's just the comments um, by the guy who did the necropsy. Uh, cause of death is significant renal disease, so kidney disease. And this is common in older rats, especially male rats, which she wasn't a male rat. She wasn't that old. Um, this is younger than you typically expect it to show up. But he says it was still within the range of normal. Um, I guess just considering her genetic background, it might have been something she was more prone to. And it says there's not evidence of a significant toxin or infectious disease exposure. And I think the reason he put that was because when I went in to talk with him, I really emphasized that that's what I was worried about. So it was nice of him to write that all up. Clearly there was a bit of lung damage. That's pretty normal in rats in my experience. So yeah, that was pretty much the entire report. It's clear she had kidney issues. Uh, they just didn't show up as symptoms, which I'm actually really glad about because kidney issues are kind of hard to treat in rats. You just give them a low protein diet and I don't really give my rats a lot of protein anyways. Uh, they eat their oxbow adult rat food and they have a few protein treats, but they're very rare compared to other treats. And so I think again, this was something she was just prone to. And unfortunately, considering her background again, she just wasn't really bread for health and that's just something that kind of comes with getting feeder rats and rats from pet stores and such so 
yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to go ahead and share this with you because I know some of you are interested. And I thought it was cool that he went ahead and took these pictures for me. He mentioned he was going to do that, so that was really nice of him. And you can see, yeah, that's uh, that was that. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and stop this here. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.